Now, our breaking news this hour. Security forces in Egypt have unleashed a wave of violence to crush protest camps in Cairo, set up by supporters of the ousted president, Mohamed Morsi. The Muslim Brotherhood claims over 600 people have been killed in the ensuing clashes, but the government says only six people have been confirmed to have lost their lives. Well, let's get more now. Let's go live to Cairo, uh, to our correspondent there, Belle True. Um, Belle, we are hearing great variation in the number of reported casualties, but also the number of deaths. What are the figures that you're hearing? Well, in cases like these, when you have very serious fighting with uh, a lot of gunfire, including an ammunition, the death toll is very hard to um, ascertain because the, you know, the injured and the bodies will be collected at two hospitals within the city uh, and not taken to sort of main hospitals. And, uh, and you know, so the death toll isn't able to be ascertained at this point. Um, I can't confirm, you know, whether the Muslim Brotherhood uh, number is accurate or not, um, but certainly I'm standing here right next to Robert the Mosque, um, which is one of the main um, encampments here in the, in, in the capital Cairo, and there is a lot of gunfight, almost continuous. Um, I have been shot at as a journalist attempting to enter the city, but shooting at residents, bystanders, and families of those trapped inside. I don't know if you can hear it behind me, but gunfire is almost continuous. We've seen uh, automatic weapon fire, uh, uh, live ammunition in the form of shotguns, as well as uh, birdshot pellets and tear gas. Now, speaking protesters uh, inside the city on the phone, they tell me that the gunfire has been continuous all morning um, and that they have seen a lot of people injured uh, to the head, neck and chest um, with many fatalities, which would imply that the security forces are shooting to kill. Again, that's coming from protesters. I haven't been able to see that from my own eyes. How, from what I can ascertain right now, there are very fierce street battles happening all, on the sides, uh, entering the city, as well as continued gunfire coming from within. And is it difficult to tell what's happening inside the camps at the moment? Because security forces did say earlier they were allowing people to leave if they wanted to. But is it your opinion there are still many, many people inside the camp? Well, from what I can see, I have been attempting to get inside the camp now for over an hour and have been shot at uh, in multiple entrances uh, to the city. I cannot see, I have not yet seen a, um, a passage of safe exit for protesters. Neither have um, I been able to ascertain that being a safe exit from any um, of my colleagues who are in the area. As you can hear behind me, there's an ambulance at the city of Passing me right now. Uh, a continuous stream of injured coming out and also reported dead. So, I mean, I can't see how the security forces can stand by their um, their words that they would do this in a peaceful and safe and democratic way uh, just because of the, of, of the way that they went in this morning and the fact that they're not letting anyone in. I've also had reports um, from people within the city who told me the injured have been denied access to hospitals, they've been turned away, which is adding to the death toll. So, really, what from what I can tell, um, this is a very violent crackdown on those protesters, with, with, as far as I can tell, no safe exit. OK, thank you, Bell. That's Artie's Bell True, live from Cairo.